Pericarditis ECG changes heart and tachy. Pericarditis is the inflammation of pericardium. Acute pericarditis is caused by infective, autoimmune, neoplastic, radiation injury or metabolic causes. Viral infection is the most common cause of pericarditis. Pericarditis in acute myocardial infarction is due to local pericardial inflammation. Main ECG changes in pericardial effusion are PR segment depression and ST segment elevation. We can take a look how this happened. ST segment elevation is occurred due to change in epicardium. This exerts a pressure in our heart which will result in decreasing contractility decrease filling and decrease cardiac output our heart consists of three layers epicardium myocardium and endocardium epicardia is the layer which is very close to pericardium so changes which occur in epicardium and pericarditis will also affect pericardium majority of perfusion occur in our heart during diastole Changes in epicardia during pericarditis will lead to progressive ischemia, so the damaged tissue releases intracellular components, mainly the potassium moves inwards that is from epicardia to inner layers so the current is traveling away this will result in negative depolarization so the baseline of our ECG lowers, TP segment depress and this will cause apparent SD segment elevation. Increased pressure in epicardio also affect our entire heart as a result due to the increased atrial pressure movement of electrolyte occurs in the opposite direction and P wave down slopping occur in ECG. Key points to diagnose pericarditis in IGAR 1. Classic presentation of pericarditis is saddle shaped SD segment. SD segment axis will be shifted to plus 30 to plus 60 degree. 2. Diastolic injury current leads to TP segment depression which manifests in ECG as J point elevation. 3. Due to repolarization abnormality in early phase of pericarditis D wave becomes taller and peaked. Spotic sign is an important diagnostic ECG sign. Changes in QRS complex rarely occur and if presented occurs due to underlying cardiac disease. QD interval shortens due to the shortened duration of activation in injured zone. PR depression and ST elevation are seen simultaneously in leads 1 to 3 AVF and V2 to V6. ECG changes may not be significant in every patient and variations in ECG are common. If you like my channel please, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.